What's up guys, today on The Great War, we be so tactical. Today on The Great War, we talk airsoft tactics, and that's mainly because I want to really educate all of the beginners out there on how to play airsoft not like it's Call of Duty, because Call of Duty tactics aren't going to get you anywhere in airsoft. Because airsoft is a team sport, and Call of Duty is an arena shooter, and I'm going on too much of a tangent about how much I hate Call of Duty. Um, so let's just go on straight to the first point. My first point is spread out, and that's because I see a lot of players out there sticking together, and that, that's only gonna get you pinned it down, because what's happening there is that your enemy has their fields of fire, or pretty much where they're pointing their guns, at one location. So instead of having one guy pointing his gun at one location, you have two guys pointing their guns at one location, and the amount of BBs that are flying at you are twice the amount than it would be if you spread out. If you spread out, their fields of fire are gonna be separated, and there's only gonna be one gun traced on one position as opposed to two guns traced on one position. Now my next point is engage your enemy from cover. And the big reason that is, is because the chances of being shot when you're engaging someone from cover is much less than it is when you're engaging from not in cover. And I know this seems kind of like a no-brainer, but I'm kind of surprised at the amount of people who are trying to shoot other people just in the wide open. However, this rule is made to be broken because sometimes you can get really good positions on your enemy if you engage not from cover. So it's kind of a shady, kind of wishy-washy area, but most of the time you're going to want to engage from cover. All right, so my next point is how to peek out of cover correctly, because constantly I'll see people try to come out of cover like this to assault, which just leaves you entirely open to engage. It's your entire body is 100% just out in the open. Whereas, if you just peek out like this, it's a lot harder to shoot me because the only thing that's really showing is my knuckles and my head. So if you're pretty much getting shot anywhere except your knuckles and your head, you're peeking out of cover incorrectly or just someone outthought you and like hit you from the other side. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're going to back up far enough so that way your gun can fit behind the cover. Then all you're pretty much gonna do is you're just gonna lean out like that and you're gonna not have your elbows out like this, you're gonna tuck them in. So that way, the only thing that's showing is your head, your knuckles, and your gun. Now my next point is a pretty important one. Don't be a wuss. Don't sit back at your spawn and claim, oh, I'm defending the base. Don't be afraid to get in there and get your hands dirty. Don't be afraid to run to the front lines, especially if you have an assault rifle, because that's why it's called an assault rifle. It is your job to assault the base. However, if you are a support gunner and have a machine gun or a sniper, then that's not so much the case because it is your job to cover the assault's advance. Now my next point is the most important point for anyone playing airsoft, regardless of skill. Don't think you're a badass because you play airsoft. You are shooting plastic BBs at each other. Do you have any idea how childish that sounds? It is like the most childish thing in the world. It is like, air, like Nerf is here, Airsoft is like ever so slightly higher because it actually stings a little bit to get shot. Because when it comes down to it, Airsoft is a sport. It's not like, like the actual Special Forces, Military, Navy SEAL shit. It's a sport, just like hockey or soccer. So don't think you're a badass because you play Airsoft. Just don't do it. So this video was mainly a personal tactics video. I really didn't go into how to coordinate a plan or how to coordinate like an assault on something. That's what I'm going to be doing next week with field tactics. So stay tuned for that.